Hi, thanks for joining me today and happy spring. Today is the first day of spring and behind me I have my completed spring painting, the first one I did. And so anyway, um, it's a 24 by 24 on a deep edge canvas and I'm really happy with it. So today's painting is another spring painting or more like spring in the jungle. It's um, done a very simple technique, just pouring paint and then um, dipping the canvas into the paint and lifting. So I call it pour, press, and lift. Um, it's a real fun technique and real easy and you know you can kind of put some control in it the way you pour the paint. I tried to you know pour some flowers in certain areas and um, anyway the results came out spectacular. I can't wait to show you. So anyway enjoy the creative process and I will catch up with you. Um, by the way if you haven't already done so, if you like my videos please hit the like button and I would love if you would subscribe. <laughs> Thanks. So here I am laying down paint onto parchment paper. It's regular parchment paper used for baking. Um, in hindsight, I wish I would have used a canvas to pour the paint onto, and then with the second canvas, pressed it down, and I would have ended up with two paintings um, instead of one, and I would have not have wasted as much paint as I did, which I really hate doing. So, I'll live and learn. Um, so I'm putting the background down, the foliage um, in the background, and then I'll be pouring um, reds and pinks um, and yellows um, for the flowers. is um, pre-mixed um, made by Arteza. I purchased a set off of Amazon. Um, they came in like two ounce bottles. Um, I think I got a 36 color set. And so the colors I'm using today I will list in the description box below. Um, it was really easy and um, I like the paint. They're highly pigmented. Um, I normally mix up my own paint with um, paint, acrylic paint and Floetrol in water. But for someone who is just getting started, this would be a good way to test the waters to see if you like acrylic pouring and um, before you, you know, invest money in buying all the paints and, you know, paint mediums. Um, so anyway, it's, I wanted to try them out and Arteza is a very good brand and so I'm not paid or anything to, you know, I'm not sponsored by any means, but I just like the brand, so.
a method to my madness, a little bit anyway. Um, I did strategically place the pink paint in such a way that it would try to look, resemble flowers when it was pressed down. And the same with the yellow and the red. So, um, and then actually I put the um, Prussian blue in strips going across trying to look like stems. So there was a method to it. <laughs> so anyway, let's see how it turns out. So you can see I taped off the back of my canvas so the edges would not get any paint on it. It would be nice and clean. And now I'm pressing it down under the paint and you wanna to try to press it down as um, firmly as possible. Um, and at the same time, trying not to shift the canvas. I did shift it once or twice. Um, but anyway, this is my actually my first time doing this technique. Um, and then you want to push um, and get kind of underneath the wood um, stretcher bars and just get that, you know, canvas pressed into the paint. So. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting this vibrant of color. <laughs> The colors are spectacular, even more so in real life. Um, yeah, it's pretty vibrant. <laughs> so I decided it needed some more flowers um, in the center there um, and in that blue area. It just needed something. So I'm gonna be pouring yellow paint and red paint um, to get a flower effect. I'll be using a latex glove blown up um, like a balloon, and then I'll be pressing down with that um, and lifting up to create a flower impression.
So I am already in love with this piece. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Um, I already see a hummingbird, a grasshopper, a dragonfly, and butterflies. It's, here it is. It's just, I just can't believe it. I did end up um, going over with a brush on the two flowers in the center. Um, the yellow daisy-like flower and then an orange tulip-like flower because the colors were just not very vivid and it, I just didn't like the way it looked. So I'm really happy with it. There's the frog or grasshopper. And um, anyway, I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this um, video and please hit the like button if you did and subscribe if you would like to see more. Happy spring, take care and I'll see you on the next video.